Get ready, boys and girls. What I have in this envelope is going to utterly destroy one of your lives. And the winner is... Smith for an update on the progression of the new science and technology building generously funded by Cashman Industries. <clears throat> Thanks Madison. Billionaire Adam Cashman broke ground on the Cashman Complex for Science and Art Technologies one year ago today. Now with the project almost completely finished, Legacy College faculty and students are anxiously awaiting the ribbon cutting ceremony and for the building to open its doors in one month's time. Mr. Cashman is on business in Paris and unavailable for interview, but his son, Legacy College Junior, Kendall Cashman, is here with us tonight. Thanks for being with us tonight, Kendall. No, thank you, Sterling. So what can you tell us about the new building? Well, my father assures me that it has the latest cutting-edge technology. He also said that it's very spacious. Well, it's very generous of your uh, father to donate the facility. Can you tell us what his motivations were behind the uh, giving it to us? Well, each member of the Cashman family is highly involved in community service. I myself donate three hours every weekend serving soup to local children at a homeless shelter. Really? Which one? What? 
uh, St. Jesus's? It's downtown. Way downtown. Right. St. Jesus's. Way downtown. I'm sure our viewers know where that is. Well, thank you for being here today, Kendall. Which one, huh? Local, huh? The only reason why I agreed to do this show is because my father threatened to visit with my step monster if I didn't do it. And the only reason why he's donating that building is for the tax deduction. And also so that the Board of Trustees can't fire his idiot brother. My idiot uncle is your Chancellor of Students. Uh, Kendall. What? We're still on the air. That's right. Smile for the camera. I wonder what that smug little bastard really had in that envelope. Could he know that I'm his half-sister? No, he couldn't. Adam has made sure that his dirty little secret of a daughter has been kept hidden all these years. I cannot let anyone find out who I am. Not until I'm ready. I was thinking. Thinking, really? Well, that would be a first. What? You were thinking. I know, Ty, it hurts the first time you use a muscle you haven't used in a while. In this case, your brain. But at least try to make a coherent sentence. You're the boss. Anyway, I was thinking there's something strange about that birdie girl. I mean, what do we really know about her? Well, from the way she dresses and conducts herself, I'd say she was obviously raised on a farm. She's a nobody. One of those scholarship cases that probably says her prayers every night before she goes to bed and writes thank you notes for every occasion on her Hello Kitty stationery. Why the newfound obsession with Nerdy Burger hold the friends? She just seems to know more than she's letting on. I think she's the one that made your envelope go boom. Enough with this Birdie Burger nonsense, Ty. We've got bigger fish to fry than Salvation Amy. being Kendall's henchman, but folding this little brat's laundry is crossing the line. Hello, Ty. Jeez, you scared me. What is that? Oh, it's you, Ty. What are you talking about? I'm going to go find a marble. You business. cannot move, Ty.
You come for me, I am blessed. Yours is the hand I will use when mine is too small. Your eyes when I cannot see. Your ears when I am deaf. You work for me now, Ty. Understand that? You come for me, yes. I am blessed. Good. When I leave, you will remember nothing of this conversation. But when I need you, I will call upon you. And you will do exactly as I say. It's been charming. Is anyone here? New Year's Eve, 1995. My mother just got married, and I was forced, against my will, to attend a stupid party with my new Antichrist stepbrother at his super preppy boarding school. After about an hour of me holding up the wall, and Kendall drinking enough booze to float home. I saw her. The most beautiful creature ever. She glowed like... like a thousand candles in an eclipse. So I... I mustered up all my courage and... for a dance. And uh, despite my sweaty palms, she, uh, she accepted me. Oh, Alex. You did all of this for me? It's beautiful. Happy birthday, Ivy. But, there's, uh, there's one more surprise. that was playing when you first asked me to dance. Wherever did you find it? I captured it for you. Tonight called my performance in that sappy young Betsy Ross miniseries I did last year. Inspired, evocative, and reminiscent of a young Meryl Streep. As I remember it, you played Betsy Ross's wooden-legged prostitute friend who died of a termite infestation. And that review in Variety said that you were, uh, unaffective, unevocative, and that you had eyes that stuck out like a sheep's. Morgan Talbot, it's been far too long. What was that for? I don't know exactly what yet, but I'm sure you've done something in my absence to deserve it. Oh, you literally... What are you going to do about it? Welcome home, Morgan. I smell sex and candy here. Soon I will get everything I deserve. Gradually, I am gaining their trust, and they are beginning to accept me. Getting to Kendall has been harder than I expected. He's too smart to let his guard down and too well protected by that goon, Ty. I think that my best bet in getting to Kendall will be through our stepbrother, Alex. Once I fully gain his trust and have all of his considerable access to Kendall, I'll make my long-lost brother and father pay for all they've done. And I won't mind spending time with Alex, either. He seems genuinely... good-hearted. It's strange. Almost as if I've been... bewitched. As if by some magic I'm drawn to Alex.
the Legacy College website at www.geocities.com slash Legacy College. Or email the producers and cast of Legacy College at LegacyCollege at yahoo.com. Bam! Productions. <laughs>